Hi Scorpio, welcome to this Tower Love Reading. Welcome Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines, Twin Flames Lightworkers. My name is Sophia, welcome to this community. So what I was getting Scorpio was, uh, Scorpio is a death card, but it doesn't matter if you're Scorpio, your person Scorpio, but um, or it doesn't really matter what part or element, whatever. But I was feeling like the Dark Knight of the Soul, um it's connected with the hermit as well the dark night of the soul but i feel like you know a darkness like um uh, could be borderline depression feeling stupid feeling you're not good enough um stuff like that so could be you and your person trying to who is this uh it, it depends like some of you are or some of you are your person or both of you are that's why i can't pick which energy it is so let's see why that this is happening i've just done a reading if you like the extended if you like that reading the extended is on the facebook group um i i'm not posting too much because i'm trying to have a break but still you know the Lord's work needs to be done. Is that a saying? <laughs> anyway, work needs to be done. When I'm doing this work, I get the energy to do it anyway, so there's no excuse. You get far, 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 far more in the Facebook group. It's for people just like you who feel like, you know, you like, like if you are, this is you, this energy I'm feeling at the beginning, if this is you and you're struggling, there's people you can talk to and, uh, and they can help you. Or even if you're like, I'm very private, Sophia, you can read other people going through this, uh, what you're going through. YouTube ain't really like that. That's why I created the group. So it's free to join uh, and, and uh, it's a private group. Um, so let's jump in with what's going on here. There it is. Yeah, the darkness. There is there is a massive change. I've been saying that in my last videos as well. <clears throat> it's doing it little bit by little bit. If you listen to astrology or, you know, I don't know, tower readers, they might be saying more so. You've noticed uh, Libra's in this one, Capricorn's out, Mars is out, you know, planetary readings. There's loads of little ones, but... Uh, you're a light worker, come on man, you're star seeds, you're connected with the stars, so it's going to affect you more than soulmates, let's just say, so it's, it's literally, there's a massive change going on at the moment, so uh, the first one is seven of wands, valor, courage in the face of danger, that's the energy I was picking up at the beginning, which is all about um, you having the courage to go past it, because I'm feeling it's like, um, that I keep getting used to uh, knocking yourself. Um, I'm I'm too stupid. Uh, so I keep getting I'm stupid as well. So it's like you're not stupid. You're just around people who um, don't understand you because you're galactic. They eh? that's what the group helps you with as well. Come on now, more need to be more with other people, right? Just because you're a human being, that's just your experience. Your experience being a human being, your actuality is you're an alien being, right? So you need to be with aliens. <laughs> just saying it as it is. Seven of Wands is Seven of Wands, Five of Wands, Eight of Cups. Then I'll jump into these bad boys. Seven of Wands is, like I said, Valor, courage in front of the, getting the strength. Can you see the Leo here? getting the strength to go and do what you want to do and being determined as well this I, i'll just it's a bit of a uh, what is it a pity party i can't do it i can't do it uh yes you can is you know stop with the i can't this planet is so right if you say you can't do it all right fine you can't right so when you say i can then they show you ways to do it doesn't mean it's easy look at him you got to get strength to do it they never said, oh, when you say, I can do it, I can do it. Then they're going to show you an easier option. They just show you ways to do it. It's always your choice. Oh, I can't do that. Well, you're back to your can't, right? This is the strength to jump into the unknown. See, he's on a cliff here, which is like the fool's card, right? But 
if he jumps off that cliff underneath his victory six of wands he's holding seven of wands which seven of wands is like uh, being a bit defensive you know oh, i can't do it i'm too stupid and you know in in the ruts going back to the rut again but like i said this is about having courage to do it five of wands this is other people in in like i said you need to be around the right people internal and external conflict other people always poking you with their sticks come on do this and once again the leo's here having the strength to do this and stop letting people's thoughts and and um feelings because look at all the hands and you feel with your hands it doesn't have to be cups but it's hands right all these other people control you that's what that is about here we're sat in there with capricorn so seven of ones, five of ones, that is that energy I'm feeling at the beginning, this kind of dark night of the soul here. It's like, look, walk away from it. And it don't, you could literally, he's walking, right? Or emotionally detach. And it's very hard. I've got a question for you, Scorpio. Why do you think they say Buddha, Buddha sat cross-legged on the mountain? <laughs> That's the key. Why? Why didn't they just say he sat cross-legged in his living room with his friends and family? Because they emotionally, eight of cups, right, affect him or her. So you have to emotionally detach. And like I said, if you get round people who are more you, then you feel aligned. And then you recognize who you're supposed to be with. Do you hear this? You're a human being. I'm not saying fuck off your friends and family up in here, but I'm saying you're supposed to be being on this planet. You're obviously going through some depression or sadness or something like that. And I feel this is you because I don't normally do readings for your person. If this isn't you and this is your person, Scorpio, then this is for you to understand what they're going through. They feel different and they're around people like this, right? So this is for them to emotionally detach. But I want to see what's going on with you because why aren't they? They shouldn't be in this if you are away and working on yourself, loving yourself. Like the hermit climbs the mountain by himself. At the top of the mountain, who climbs at the top of the mountain? No one. Do your friends and family climb with you? No. All the spiritual quotes and leaders... Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, I don't really Malcolm X so much, let's just say John Lennon, Bob Marley, right, and loads of people around them, I'm sure, but you only know them, singular, because they were the ones that done the main bulk, singular, I have mission people, but still people see me as the main person, I'm trying not, I'm trying to sort that out, I've always tried to sort that out, but why, because they're the ones that isolate themselves and go and do the things for themselves, look, Mr. Man Air, where's he going? He's going to the mountains. This is mountains. Can you see the mountains here? And can you see that Capricorn there? Saturn, which is in this one. Right here. He's going to get control of his own life. Right? Forever. Longevity with the elderly man there. Right? That's where he's going. He's walking away from the emotional fulfillment of other people. Like I said, this is you or your, I can pinpoint the energy at the beginning because this could be you or your person. And if it is your person, then this is you as well, right? You're just thinking, oh, he's round, he's round his ex baby's mum and his mum's a nightmare. And I'm like, uh, 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 tell me about your best friend. Oh, Sophia, my best friend's amazing. Watch out. Please join the Facebook group. I'm going to put a, 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 questionnaire i'll put it that way uh for you to think about for your friends and family i'll put it that way then you choose what you do like i said um it's all about choices lately i'm waking you up to the choices you make oh i'm so stupid i'm like well if you're watching me right and you choose not to book me you choose not to join the facebook group you choose to just join the facebook group and not book me it's your choice but then don't moan that you've got other people controlling you, right? I'm not controlled, Sophia. They are emotionally, energetically telling you how they feel about what you're doing. 
say you're doing drugs i don't know if it's drugs i'm just saying say you're doing drugs or your person's doing drugs stop doing drugs how does that help uh let's get to the base of this right why do they do the drugs right not finding out what the base is but most don't book an image reading with me oh well my person does drugs i don't do drugs so how does doing an image reading with me help my person because you're addicted to something like going out with your friends when you're not even bothered or emotionally connected to the place where they go. And we go out every Friday night partying, Sophia, and then my best friend. So you like to party? Not really. Here you go. Right? Like attracts like. Underneath your person, which may be you, right, is this is a divine connection. This is about standing up into your masculine, which is the Aquarius age, which is rising up from the grave stones the box i can't find out what that name is right the box they're in burial box whatever and follow their truth tarot that means true tarot is the story of your life the story of your truth and the the journey the fool's journey is about finding your truth It's a journey to find your truth because you're born and programmed not of your own truths into beliefs and traditions and stuff like that so you're against yourself, so might be in an addictive pattern here, although Seven of Cups is not here, but Eight of Cups, which Seven of Cups is before that, delusions, addictions, right, of why you're here. I don't feel you're nearly close on your journey of Twin Flame or nothing here. I, I would say this is for someone who watches Tarot and works in a chip shop, secretary, slash and uh, something creative something like that and thinks you're spiritual because you watch and listen to spiritual leaders that just means you watch and listen to spiritual leaders the justice card on top of the tree of life is that it, it, you are what you are it just is if you just watch that's all you do is just watch there's a, no way make you spiritual a master teacher changes people's lives doesn't mean you're a master at speaking and a master at getting subscribers and master at getting views. A master teacher, right, that changes people's lives is that's what they're known as. So all the subscribers and all that doesn't mean this is a confusion of yourself. Hold on, I'll just pause it. Sorry, my son, I always get it for a quan. Seven of Swords, yep. Probably why I just spat out about mastery, right? lying to yourself about these other people sophia they're my family they love me i didn't say they don't love you i didn't say that right what i give to people who book me is unconditional love but there's tower readers don't do what i give right like even my facebook group with so much but will sit there and say uh namaste i love you all this is your confusion of love does that mean that because I don't say I love you, but I definitely don't show it. I give you love, right? Just because they, they're a family blood, right? A human being. Does that mean that you, you do what they say? Doesn't mean fuck them off. It means go find yourself. Go, go find who you really are. That's what this journey is about. The Seven of Swords is you lie cheating to yourself about these other people. The Nine of Wands, two defensive cards here. So I doubt you would even book me. I'll put it that way. But you like what I'm saying, but you ain't going to book me. Nine of Wands, right? Defensive. But 100% is star, sun and moon. You have a twin flame connection. Four of Wands, this is connected to the reading I just done and the extended so i won't go too much into that this is what i said about finding the strength to come out of the darkness to be a star seed see the star seed is hidden be behind the four of wands the four of wands it's behind it you have to find oneself and stop thinking because you feel different to all these people that you're like but it's my mom it's my dad it's my best friend it's the da 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 but you're star seed if if they were so you why do you feel different why do i feel this dark night of soul energy why do i feel this addictive darker patterns then this is about taking a new perspective 
on your life, the hanged man. And stop, once again, my hanged man is like a devil, right? And reptilian. Let in beliefs, traditions, or what you think on other people's thoughts um, uh, control you. It's a lot of control in this reading, right, which you need to take a perspective on. When I say it about friends and family, it doesn't mean, like I said, I'm going to put a, a, a word doc in um, the Facebook group to see um, for uh, you guys to read and get a different perspective on, on your life because it's keeping you left out in the cult. Once you understand this, right, then the Knight of Swords, things change quickly. Your person comes towards you more fast, right? Even the Knight of Swords here, these are the underneath cards. Look, clouded judgment. That could be smoke, drink. If you look at the card, can you see the dark clouds? I don't know, it's a bit blurry or whatever, around his head. But can you see, if you look up to the light, right, that's the enlightenment. The hanged man, you see the enlightenment is around his head. This changes when you think correctly, right? Because you're not in your truth. There's a sword of truth. It's not attached to him, but it's lies around you, right, of who you are. doesn't mean they're lying to you, right? Like when I said these spiritual leaders who do tower regions and talk and say all this stuff and they say, I, I love you, right? Does that mean they don't love you? They think they do love you. But I'm like, well, if they loved you, why don't they give you additional stuff? Why do they time their readings? Why do they not find out more about you more on an individual level? Why do they charge so much? Is it, you know, that's love. This is finding out your version of love. Because I don't feel your read person in this reading because you're not doing enough. Because you don't feel like you're enough. This is someone who feels less than or slipped into that energy of, oh, there's no point. I'm so stupid and all this kind of thing. This could be mental health as well, right? Because I'm picking up a lot of mental health. They're definitely working on neuralistic stuff in here. They keep pushing me to do a, a program on that. So anyway, so... Uh, you can just cut to the chase. You want a fast turnaround? Book me, right? Uh, or the very least, please join the Facebook group. It's a private group. Far more details of what you get is in there. Uh, and I said I'll release more stuff in there. So the link's in the description box. Speak to you later, Scorpio.